Hey, I'm Paula. This is how to make dinner. Today I'm going to show you how to mince garlic. Two different ways. So this is a head of garlic in case you don't know. Um, there are two main kinds of garlic, hard neck garlic and one is soft neck garlic. Most of the stuff you buy in the store is soft neck garlic, which means that this middle stalk is bendy. Um, the stuff that you buy at the farmer's market is often the hard neck one. And so hard neck one, you have to crush it by leaning on its side because it's got that hard stock in the middle. But soft neck, you can crush it by putting it face down on the cutting board and just leaning on it. And when you do that, <laughs> you can see that it all falls apart. So figure out how much garlic you want to deal with. Move the rest aside. I'll just move it all the way off. Let's, let's work with one clove here. So we've got one clove. The easiest way to peel it is to cut that tiny little end off, the root end, and take a big heavy chef's knife and just give it a little lean on the garlic, just a little bit. And that'll just kind of crush it slightly and it'll loosen the skin right off and it's done. And just repeat for however many cloves you want to use. And we're always cleaning as we go. Move all these bits aside. Give it a little lean. Take off the peel. And I will say the older the garlic is, the easier it is to peel, by the way. The really fresh stuff, it's, it's a bit tougher because the peel is less um, papery. So now we've got a couple of cloves of peeled garlic. So the classic mincing method is going to be with a knife. So I've got a good heavy cutting board here and a nice chef's knife. I'm actually just going to smash this a little bit further to help me get it started. So now it's like basically partially minced. And then with your fingers curled under, you make like a little claw and you can just start going back and forth. So once you get it started, this is actually a really juicy head of garlic. It's great. Once you get one pass through, it's just a matter of gathering it back up again, wiping it off the knife, gathering it back up in a little pile. And then you can kind of get your one hand on top and hold the other hand with the knife. And you're kind of just keeping the tip of the knife on the board. You're just kind of milling, milling it back and forth. And you do this until you're satisfied and you've got it as finely minced as you want it to be. Give it a little, the knife a little wipe once in a while to make sure it's all incorporated and just keep going. Now, if you want this to be really fine, like a really more of a paste, the best way to do that is get a little pinch of salt, which I have here and just sprinkle the garlic with a little bit of salt. And then you just take the side of your knife and you just mash it. And you're mashing the garlic just kind of right into the cutting board. And the salt helps to draw some of the moisture out of the garlic. So it helps to kind of break it down and, and make that paste. And then again, just keep gathering it up and just go back. And this is just like sticky, delicious, garlicky goodness. And then you can go back and give it a little chop. That's minced garlic. That's the most basic way to do it. So that's ready to go. The other way is a little bit easier. And it's a method that a lot of people are using these days, including me often enough, which is just to use a microplane. So this guy is good for Parmesan cheese. It's good for nutmeg. It's great for garlic. So just grate it. I will say though that actually, depending on how you mince your garlic, it actually ends up with quite a different flavor. So I'll link below to the Serious Eats article where they break down the different flavors of garlic, depending on how you, how you mince it. Um, garlic press is a very, probably the strongest 
kind of minced garlic. Like basically the more you break it down, the more of the compounds get released and it just totally changes the flavor. While we're here, I will just mention that you don't really need to mince garlic uh, for, uh, for everything. Um, you can easily also just slice it. And if you slice garlic and, and then cook it in a soup or a stew, it actually is, stays really mild. So you won't be biting into a big offensive kind of uh, harsh bite. It'll, it'll actually be pretty mild as long as you cook it. So if I was just doing a soup or a stew, I might just leave it like that. Uh, I think that's it. <laughs> that's my garlic, garlic mincing tutorial. So if you like this video, please subscribe and ding the bell so that you get notified when I make a new episode. And we'll see you next week. Mincing garlic. Wow, we are really banging out the episodes, babe. <laughs>